previously on My Hero Academia. The big three took on Shigaraki, doing their best to take the monstrosity down, but they just couldn't get a solid hit in on him. That was initially what seemed to be going on. In truth, Amajiki was storing in a whole bunch of food in order to create the Giga Cannon, which is what I'm calling it. Basically, an amalgamation of various different things that would hopefully be strong enough to punch right through Shigaraki, ending him for good. Meanwhile, though Bakugo is on the sideline, he still seems to be analyzing the battle, which is even more interesting considering that Shigaraki, who is still all for one, wants to go after Bakugo in order to use him to egg on Deku. But the true Shigaraki still exists within this body. The will of the true Shigaraki still lives on. With all these factors in play, the question now is, which are one of them will matter the most in the end. Join me as I find out, won't you? Alright, My Hero Academia, Chapter 362, titled, Light Fades to Rain. Uh-oh, that is a very ominous title. <sighs> oh boy. Alright, Sun Eater is charging his cannon. He says to himself, If I fail now, everyone in this coffin is utterly doomed. He thinks back to Fat Gum, who tells him, Stand tall and proud, Tamaki. He thinks to Tetsu Tetsu and Red Riot, telling him, Taking care of biz as usual, dude. And he thinks back to the young Miria when they first were going to school, telling him, I know for a fact that you've got some real special talent. Miria think, no. Sun Eater thinks to himself, that blindingly bright and shining praise, like treasures from them to me. Up to now, I could never fully accept it. I was crushed under the weight of that wealth. It just felt easier to be down on myself. Thank you, everyone. And as the cannon gets ready to fire, Shigaraki turns to Sun Eater. Shigaraki snouts, sneaky little pest, and the mass of fleshy tendrils come streaming out towards Sun Eater, but he fires off his cannon, Vast Hybrid Plasma Cannon, as he shouts, GET WRECKED! Really? <laughs> Get wrecked. Blasting it off at Shigaraki. And he thinks to himself, because now that crushing weight makes me stronger. And the blast just starts to tear into Shigaraki. And as Shigaraki says while defending himself, you just don't get it. And he gets ready to fire off another mass of tendrils. In comes Mirio, decking Shigaraki square in the face. Oh man, and you see the beam just blasting out of the side of the floating UA, going way off into the distance. Ah oh, shit. But as the smoke clears, you see Hado with the tear in her side, questioning how Sun Eater's cannon is utterly decimated and destroyed. Mirio has a few cuts on his arm as he tries to phase through Shigaraki's fleshy tendrils. And through the smoke, Shigaraki says, Think about it. Remember All Might in his prime? Would something so pathetic have killed him? Come on, use your head. But something grabs Shigaraki's attention. It's Bakugo. He's stepping forward. Best Genus calls out to him, but Bakugo just simply tells him, Look after the others. Hmm. Shigaraki's eyes are affixed to Bakugo, and Bakugo just keeps wobbling forward and mutters to himself, Gotta win, right, Izuku? While Best Genus tries to bring him back, saying, No, you mustn't! Suddenly, shots just... No. Bakugo propelled himself just at lightning speeds forward towards Shigaraki, just hitting him. Almost looks like he almost blows off Shigaraki's head. And as Shigaraki tries to go in and strike him, Bakugo says, right side, and instantly dodges around, hitting the ground with a quickness. How is he doing this? Mirio's taken off guard, and Bishinus thinks to himself, he saw it coming, and dodged it. And every time Shigaraki goes to strike, Bakugo's already out of the way, right behind Shigaraki yet again. We get an explanation. Quirk, explosion. The sweat glands on his palms produce a nitroglycerin-like liquid that he can detonate. But the cluster upgrade he devised came with a side effect even he himself wasn't aware of. The act of saving up sweat into launchable beads put a terrible burden on the glands of his palm. With his sights set on victory, 
He kept storing those beads in the glands until they were forced to find other exits to leak out all over his body. Ew. I'm sorry, that's gross. Explosions all around his body gave him even more speed. My whole body hurts. Yeah, I would. You got sweat coming out of places they shouldn't be coming out of. I guess this is Bakugo thinking to himself, battling through the pain, fighting while trying to spot the enemy's ticks and habits. That this is basically the path you walked, yeah? He is right about that. This is exactly how Deku always fought, fighting through the pain. Broken limbs, destroyed body, finding a way to win. He thinks, so Izuku, can I still catch up to you? Huh, Shigaraki thinks to himself, how is he pissing me off so much? This random extra who doesn't even possess one for all? Why am I suddenly panicking? Shigaraki shouts, go to hell! As he goes in for a strike on Bakugo, something ignites within Bakugo. And I'm not sure, is this... Like, the visage of All Might? Is this tying into the the one movie? Where Bakugo had gained one for all? Because it's kind of like that. The shine in his eyes. The way he has the explosions just crackling all across his body. Is he gonna die? Bakugo says to the visage of All Might. Oh, right. So, uh, thinking back to when we finally met, I was pretty much a punk going through some stuff. And now it looks like I've missed my chance to ask. Huh. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out an All Might card. He thinks back to when he and Izuku got the cards. He says, man, I wanted an autograph so bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't say it before, but there were these weird theories that the second person, after All For One's brother had the power of One For All, that person was like some kind of future Bakugo or something like that. There was some kind of resemblance. And All For One, who is in Shigaraki's body, has like this memory of the dude when he sees Bakugo. And despite everyone's attempts to stop Shigaraki, it looks like he pierces Bakugo's, it pierces his heart. You see Bakugo letting off this like final blast and everyone trying their damnness to just get Bakugo out of the way. You see Mirio, Sun, Sun Eater, Miriko, Hado. Oh shit. And Bakugo is just sent flying. Best genus rushing to capture him. You have a report saying we've got clear skies over Kanto, Chiba, and the Kansai region. But according to the volunteer weather report, a sudden and drastic rise in temperature is disrupting the weather pattern. You have people saying it looks like rain. Shigaraki says, you were just tracing the earlier fight. Why do you think you could win? We came prepared for today with a perfect demon lord body. Ideal for the final boss. Understand yet? What's coming now is our story. The villain's tale. And you see Bakugo's mom and dad. His mom says that kid of ours is no fan of rain. Best genus looks at Bakugo and says his heart. You see Monoma and Manifold looking on in shock. Miracle, Lumillion, angry. Aizawa looks like he's ready to step in. No way. Huh. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I... I don't know what to make of this. Cause it looks like Bakugo's heart was exploded in his chest by Shigaraki all for one. And it looks like he's dead. And I'm having a hard time believing that. I'm having a really hard time believing that. But it's hard to really tell. Huh. And I gotta tell you. A lot of people keep talking about they want stakes. They want someone to die. This, that, and the other. I'm not really like that. I'm not someone who needs a character to die to feel some form of peril. Because, I mean, I care about my characters. I care about these characters a lot. Damn. I don't know, man. I, I'm just not someone who could think a series is great just because it kills off a character. I think a series is great because I I just personally feel that. And if Bakugo is dead here, I'm not going to think less of Horikoshi for it. Because, uh, hell, I'm still caught off guard what happened to Midnight. And with a few of the things that happened to Endeavor and Hawks. And there have been a lot of things that have happened that have really taken me off guard with this series. And... Horikoshi hasn't shied away from death as much, much as people have said he has. So, if this is the end for Bakugo, well, some people will probably feel like, yes, this is what Horikoshi should have done. It shows that there's stakes, it shows that there's consequences. 
yada yada yada. I will always feel mixed about this. Because on the one hand, yes, it shows that there are stakes, but... <sighs> This is going to be rough. If this is what Horikoshi has actually chosen, this is going to be kind of rough for me going forward. Okay, man. Eh, I don't really know what else to say. Ugh, damn. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do all the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. <laughs>